In this video, I want to explain the report model that drives these digital general purpose finance reports. So you notice that you have all these tabs and views. This is everything is digital. And, and this format is standard. So I showed this in another video. These are the files that drive that interface. You have these standard XBRL files and there's others. And then these things are pieced together by the software. Let's see. I'm going to show you this first. Um, using this model. So this is a the standard business report model. It's also the conceptual model that I created. And I've described this informally in this graph diagram. There's a piece of the report. A finance report has properties. These are the properties it has assurance. It could be a compilation, an audit, a review. It has reporting style. Uh, reporting style has derivation rules. It has disclosure rules. It has consistency rules. It has fundamental accounting concepts, type, subtype relations. And basically this is all the stuff in that the software uses to drive that model. So there's the block. There's, there's the network, which is an XBRL artifact, component hypercube block, which then gets associated with the disclosure. And a block has an information model that could be a roll forward, a roll up. Oh, that's a roll forward info. There's a roll up arithmetic member aggregation. These are just different patterns of mathematical computations or arrangements. But anyway, so this is informal. A more formal way to represent this is in UML. I can't read UML, but developers, software engineers can read UML. They need very specific information. And UML is a method of, one method of representing this information in a re digital financial report. Another method is, actually there are three general methods. The semantic web stack, which is RDF, OWL, uh, Shackle, um, etc. You have graph databases like Neo4j um, and graph query language. You could use that to represent this information or you could use logic programming, which is basically things like relational databases, prolog. Um, but all of this stuff is what drives these pieces to be turned into this interface. And you notice how there's patterns of things and you know here you see this let's see let's go to a block this block has these views a rendering view model structure view fact table view this is just dynamically put together using a software application um, and I think I'm going to call that good for explaining the report model for now.